Hey guys, SmartNinja000 here. Today I'm back with another video and I'm going to be showing you how to make a grapple hook. Um, the commands are all going to be in the description as long as uh, as well as a couple directions. So if it helps you, uh, be sure to click like and then if you need more help um, and you can't figure out the description, I will explain it right now. So I've made variations of this before on my channel, but this one I am the most proud of. It uses a advanced programming technique called recursion, which you don't really need to know. All you need to know is as soon as the bobber lands, you go to it. If you stop it in midair, you don't go to it. It's no longer built on a timer, so it will literally react as soon as you throw it and it hits the target. Um, and it's so smooth. Um, something that's like a little bit sad is you can't really rotate yourself while doing it. But that's not too big an issue because you don't really need to. Um, and it can be a little bit glitchy depending on how you look. But it does keep your rotation, which is all that really matters. So now I'm going to just get into the actual commands and how it works. So the first thing we need to do is at the fishing bobber, uh, which is the name of the little uh, thing that you see, we want to summon uh, an area effect cloud. Now this is not actually an area effect cloud. It's more of just a placeholder. It's not as uh, resource expensive as armor stands. Armor stands uh, load a texture. This does not. And we give it the tag grapple, uh, which is this. Um, so this you want on a clock. Um, and all the first commands you'll want on a clock. Uh, next, we have if it is on the ground, we want to run a function. A function is in the data pack, um, which you don't really have to worry about. I will provide a link to it to in the description to download. And then all you have to do is just pop it in the data pack folder of your world. If the fishing bobber is um, on the ground, we kill it then because at this point, uh, once we know it's on the ground, it doesn't matter to us and we can kill it because otherwise we will be stuck there until the player either right clicks again or moves their hand. So we just kill the fishing bobber. This one isn't too important, but all this does is it keeps the rotation. Um, and I, it's very simple, just look ahead of where the player was looking and we will rotate all grappers, grapples to face that way. Now, this is the really important one. Uh, when they have a grapple timer of 100 or more, um, limit one, we will teleport the player to it. Uh, then we kill the grapple as soon as we do that, so we don't keep any extra entities. And then at the very end, we want to add grapple timer one to um, every uh, area effect cloud. And then lastly, this little command here, just make sure that uh, we kill all uh, fishing bob if you throw it out and then pull it back. There would be some left over, but we just kill them off. Now, that's kind of how all this works. These commands, um, they'll be listed like on a clock. These are on a clock. All you have to do is just make the bottom one purple, uh, repeating, always active, and they're all unconditional. The second one is chain, always active, and it just goes up. Make sure the arrows are pointing uh, upwards or at least in a direction so they're all facing um, towards each other. And then there is a command that you will have to run up to start things off, which is, that's not it. Um, and that will be linked in the description. All you have to do is just run it once. It's scoreboard objectives, add grapple timer. Uh, I can't spell, dummy. Now, there is a function. Uh, there's only one function in the data pack. I will explain it real quick. So here are the commands. I zoomed in just so it'd be nice for all of you. Um, we have scoreboard players um, add grapple timer one, uh, and then we tag it with safe. And then unless there is one with a hundred, we run this function again. So what this does, this might be a little bit confusing, is as soon as it hits the ground, we uh, keep adding one until one of them hits a score of 100, which is when we start teleporting the player. And when we and when we know it hits the ground, then we add safe. What this does is this just makes sure um, that you'll teleport to it. If we didn't add safe, then it would just get killed right away. And this allows us to uh, stop a grapple um, before 
So if you throw it out before the bobber hits, you can stop it by either right clicking again or uh, moving to a different slot. So that's all this does. And again, this will be linked in the description and um, the hashtags, that's just a comment. Don't worry about those. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button if it helped. If you have any questions, comments, um, leave a comment below and I'll do my best, but I will most likely tell you to join my Discord server, link in the description. You can message me on Twitter, link in the description. You can ask in my subreddit, again, link in the description. Um, so yeah, leave a comment if this was good, leave a comment if it was bad, leave a like if you enjoyed this, leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy it, and subscribe if you want more tutorials. Leave a comment, what else do you wanna see? Okay, thanks for watching, bye.